Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Silburn Show. And today I'm at the High Commission, one of my favorite stumping ground because you know the, the Honorable High Commissioner is one of my good um, regular guests. Um, but today we have a special guest who flew all the way to Jamaica from Jamaica here, and she's Senator Honorable Kamina Johnson Smith, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Fantastic. And at the end of this, you're going to say, make sure you subscribe to the Silver Show, everybody in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, your trip to Jamaica, to, to the UK now, yes. what, what is it about? I mean, this, this quick, urgent trip. Well, this quick, urgent trip yes. was developed because I was unable to be here for the launch of the Diaspora Conference. Yes. As you know, I made an, um, a special effort this year to launch the conference, conference. in each of our major diaspora populations. Yes. Uh, so I launched in Miami, mm -hmm. in New York, in Toronto, and of course, I was unable to make it here. Yes. I only sent a video link. So because I was coming to Europe for yes. ACP and EU, um, EU meetings, yes. as well as meetings with our, I'm calling the first meeting ever of our honorary consuls okay. in Brussels. Yes. Um, so they're coming from all over uh, for us to charge them yes. with the responsibilities for promoting investment and trade in addition to their consular duties. So you got this very busy schedule. Yes, so the, 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 the arrangement was to change the schedule to make sure that I could come and engage with the yeah. community here. Well, 2004, 2006, 2008, 2010, I've been at all the diaspora conference. Wonderful. I've been one of the architects. Yeah. Wonderful. Unfortunately, I can't make it there, and great things are happening. Can you tell us what are the key things that Jamaicans in the UK should understand about the diaspora conference? Sometimes they say, what is this diaspora? Yeah. What are the key elements you could say in a couple of things? So, so yeah. first thing, yeah. one of the things that I really like people to understand is that being a, you are a member of the diaspora by blood. You're not a member of the diaspora because you have subscribe to a particular association that you know your uncle used to go to yeah. a meeting or your grandma no you are a jamaican diaspora mm. member if you are a jamaican yeah. or of jamaican descent mm -hmm. so we have first generation second generation third and our mission at the ministry of foreign affairs and foreign trade is to expand and deepen our yeah. engagement with the jamaican community overseas our diaspora right so we want young people mm -hmm. to understand that diaspora is not some sort of concept or some sort of organization. Mm -hmm. You are a part of us and we are a part of you. And the thing about it is that Jamaicans overseas must believe that they have a direct part that they can play. And one of the things I always say that the potency of the diaspora is when there's an effective partnership with Jamaicans yes. back home. Yes. And, and is it about forging this strong part that yes. they feel it's three million out, three million in, six million? Yes, depending on who you talk to, yes, the statistics, yes, no, yes, they always yes. seem to shift. But, uh, the, and that's why the Diaspora Conference is so important, yes. because it's that biennial event that pulls everybody together to say, what can we do together? Mm -hmm. What can we partner in? We, we, with national development at, our, at the forefront of our collective minds, yes. what can we do? Yes. So we know that many members of the of the diaspora, they come they contribute naturally. Yes, yes. So the town that they grew up in, mm -hmm. or the um, you know the the health center that they used to go to, yes. or that their grandmother used to go to, there there is often a connection and a, a, a lived experience that yes. that um that promotes and that um that inspired yes. a particular contribution. And one of the things that we've been doing is seeking to expand the thinking around yes. how we give to one that can be collectively pressed into national development. Yes. So for example, Minister Tuckton's Adopter Clinic program. So he has been promoting for members of the diaspora to not only give emotionally mm. where needs may not exist, yes but to give where needs exist. Yes. So he identified the 100 clinics that needed most assistance and invited the diaspora to participate in adopting a clinic yes. and getting it up to a particular standard and then... So he's, he's, he's talking about being very strategic with yes, what we're doing. about how can we leverage. So yes. we, we, we say it all the time, how can we leverage the power of yes. the diaspora? 
you can't leverage power if yeah. everybody is in their own space. And you have to collectivize yeah. it. And, that, and that's yeah. where the power lies. And that's interesting. I, that. I was in court the other day and I met someone who said a friend of them is sending books yes. to a library in Claremont. Okay. And they're spending nine hundred pounds to send it. And I said, No, no, no. There's a strategy how this can be done through yeah. the library service. So I link them with Vivian Civil. Mm -hmm. So this is it whereby lots of Jamaicans need to understand that yes. there's structures oh, where things Right. Yeah. Yes, there are structures, there yes. are systems and if you use them it can be less expensive and also more efficient to get it to where you want it to go. Fantastic. Absolutely. Now, just finally, 16 to the 20th, the Jamaica Conference yes. Center, the Diaspora Conference. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, you still have time to book your flight and ticket, am I right? Yes, and there's 10% on Caribbean Airlines. Caribbean Airlines fly out of here? Uh, no, I think Caribbean Airlines fly out, they of, don't fly fly out of somewhere else. So you'd have to, <laughs> you'd have to go somewhere else and then get your 10% ticket on yes, the other yes, leg. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but, but we are, um, what, what we have done yes. is ensure that you can uh, register online and pay online. Yes. So it's super simple now. You don't have to come into the mission and you don't have to wait until you, you, you come to Jamaica. Yeah. You can register and pay online yes. through the ministry's website, mfaft.gov.jm. Um, mm -hmm. or event price. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, I must say that there are great and positive things which are happening out of Jamaica. Yes, there are some negative things, which happens everywhere, but I believe what I'm seeing, the, the development, the, the, the street, I'm from Ochi, straight out of Ochi. Ah. You know, easy to go to Kingston now and all those yes, other things. Yeah. I mean, the, the Andrew Holness um, administration is doing a lot of things with the, the highways, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah. We have, we're expanding the Mandela Highway to be mm. a six lanes, so yes. three, on each, three, three lanes on each side of the dual yes. carriageway. Yes. Um, that is just, that is just really opening up that yes. commute between Kingston and the rest of Jamaica, yes. uh, not to mention Portmore and Jamaica. Yes. Um, it, we are starting the South Coast, work mm. on the South Coast, St. Thomas, going around the coast of St. Thomas, yes. um, St. Mary, that, that um, highway, that yes. work has started wow. because you know we're expanding in St. Thomas as well. well. Yes. Moving the town center and allowing it to, allowing for there to really be growth and capacity. Um, there is the ferry um, road, there's Junction. Yes. Junction Road is being expanded. It's being paved now. It's yes. almost finished as well. There are bridges that are being built. Yes. There's, of course, um, the flyover that pa paving has started on. Constant yes. Spring Road is being expanded as well. Yes. And what's happening with all of these and why they're taking so much time is that sewage works that never mm. existed water pipes that had been laid and never been connected yes, yes. all of those things are being fixed wow. now and also i overheard that you're saying there's some craft thing being done or something like oh downtown yes yes, yes that's it's amazing yes. It's, yes but there's a an art walk downtown on a sunday now yes where um the community is involved there are pop-up musicians pop-up performances yes. pop-up um uh, uh, almost uh, well, markets where people yeah. bring out the, all the art and craft that they've made, yes. and it's really sort of bringing new life to a community. Wow! But wow. there's also a business space that's being set up by creatives yes. who have a great idea, but they don't clearly not at yeah. a stage where they can afford an office space. But this is particularly done for creatives, yeah. so it's, it's scoped for them to be able to have conference calls, mm -hmm. quiet space, high internet connectivity. Wow. It's just amazing. And a lady named That's private yes. sector. That's private sector. Yeah. Entrepreneurs. There's a, there's a lady named Andrea Chung who commented. Andrea Dempster Chung. She commented. Yes. She commented. Said she's coming yes. up to the UK shortly. Great. Um, she's, she's she was the online. architect of the of the art world. Well, she was online a while yeah. ago when you were talking. And oh, okay. She, and she said, "I'm coming up in the art commission." So I said to her to link up so we can actually. Well, listen. Great. I don't want to keep you long. I know you got a busy schedule, and the meeting was really great because lots of people were able to answer questions, yeah. and you allowed them to answer questions in your short time. <laughs> And but I hope you're able to share some of the answers with your, well, with your listeners. Er, er, everything, <laughs> is, everything is out there. Okay, everything is out wonderful. there. And before you go, this is the Silver Show. Yes. Uh, it's an online show. I'm yes. Jamaican. Straight out of which I believe in creating your own space. Yes. It's motivational, inspirational, educational, okay. entertaining. And um, so you can say, ladies and gentlemen, remember, subscribe to the Silver Show. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, subscribe to the Silver Show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Melissa. It's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> pleasure is mine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, listeners, as well. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with the lady, <laughs> Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Camina Johnson Spade. Am I right? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say. Anything. Yes, sir. Camina Johnson Smith.
on behalf of the UK diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> we want to officially activate you as our ambassador. What? <laughs> <laughs>